What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, just a little Black Widow news. Uh, a huge Marvel fan. I love the 13 years that they gave us. And I really wanted to see this Black Widow movie, but I wanted to see it before Endgame. It's just kind of weird, the placement here. It just doesn't make sense. It's just kind of like, you know, and, and I'm not the only one that thinks that way. It was just kind of like, I, I always felt, and many others feel that way, that this should have been the movie where Captain Marvel was. Should have been in between uh, the two there. But it is what it is. Uh, I will say, you know, 2020 messed a lot of things up, especially for movies, movie theaters. So maybe that's why I just kept getting pushed back, pushed back. But still, Black Widow should have had a movie in that... 13 year span of Marvel. It shouldn't have been like later, unless, unless they're going to do the unthinkable or maybe not the unthinkable, or maybe they're just going to be like, throw out the movie now. We'll see how it does. And if it's a huge hit, we'll figure out a way to bring her back. We'll figure out a way. We've already messed up the timeline. We're going to mess some things up here. We're going to dabble over here. We're going to pull things here and there. It'll be okay. We will find a way to bring her back. I think that's that's what they're testing the waters. But just coming out, it says Marvel long-awaited release of Black Widow is a triumphant uh, moment for the movie industry. And what good old Brian is talking about here is saying that people are going back to the theaters, like going back, like F9, Fast and Furious 9 was a big one. People were going back to the theaters, and now it seems like even more people are going back. And here's why it says that. Um, that It says that this movie, the global weekend expectation, is as high as 140. Now, I've seen other reports where it says 80, and this is talking about the global weekend, and that's just an estimate. We'll not know. Um, but here it says Fandango says advanced ticket sales have set a 2021 record, which means Black Widow has surpassed F9, which was June's biggest mile marker for the movie business. There you have it. Now, people can argue that they inflate numbers, that they, you know, just trying to get people more excited to go back to the theater, that there's a lot of uh, unbalancing of things. You know, uh, there's always been that that weird little, hmm, I wonder, you know, something doesn't seem right. Something doesn't sit right to me uh, about all these numbers, but we'll see. Again, I, I probably will watch this film because I really wanted to see it. I really like the Black Widow character, and I really enjoy Scarlett Johansson as the character, but all these, um, all these crazy things that were coming out about the marketing and... The uh, like the Me Too movement here, uh, it says from Bounding into Comics, Scarlett Johansson doubles down on Me Too marketing for Black Widow. The comments that she made that she was, uh, I didn't want to be like a sex symbol in Iron Man 2 and, uh, and all those things like that, um, has dampened some of the excitement uh, for this film. Now, I will say this, Anna, that Star Wars girl, did an excellent excellent video she dug into like tons of interviews from all over the place with scarlett johansson you know locally internationally and she discovered some interesting things where it seemed like the media was just trying to bait scarlett johansson into saying these things and they were exposed i'll put her video in the description if you want to check it out for yourself it's very informative um she really does a lot of research but then you have this. Steven Dorff calls Black Widow a bad video game and expresses embarrassment for star Scarlett Johansson. And he just basically is talking about, you know, Hollywood and a lot of garbage movies they're putting out. Now, I did have a friend that saw Black Widow early internationally, and he said it was pretty good. And on the same coin, another person had come out that I know says, no, it's a snooze fest. So it's interesting. Usually if it's like really bad, they all lie. Everyone that I know that, that goes and sees these things early say bad, 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 bad. This one is like bad, good, bad, good. So I, I don't know. I don't know. It comes out tomorrow. 
Um, I haven't been to the movie theater since the rise of Skywalker. That was the last time I was in the movies. I did go to the movies with Jeremy and Tugs to see Empire Strikes Back, but halfway through the movie, the fire alarm went off and we didn't get to see finish it. And it was just pouring rain and it was it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. So the last full movie I saw was Rise Skywalker. Unbelievable. Um, you know, but anyway, it says he's like, it looks like garbage to me. It looks like a bad video game. I'm embarrassed for these people. I'm embarrassed for Scarlett. I'm sure she got paid five, seven million bucks, but I'm embarrassed for her. I don't want to be in those movies. I really don't. I find that a kid director that's going to be the next. <laughs> And I'm going to act for him. To, it's saying, like, I don't want to. Basically, it's just copy and paste, you know, and and he said he'd rather find like a like a child director, someone, maybe someone on TikTok that's like doing something new. But hey, actually, a lot of people say that um, there's no more creativity in Hollywood. They're just rehashing things. They're remaking things. They're just, you know, taking movies that we love and just swapping out characters and and reselling it. So I don't know, but that's it. I just want to bring this to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, are you planning on seeing this film? Or are you just going to wait? Because the way the streaming stuff works now, it'll probably be available to watch in like a few months anyway on streaming service where you don't have to pay for it. Um, let me know. This is Jay. Thanks for checking it out. I'll catch you next time.